Now to Libya, where a NATO airstrike today wiped out one of Muammar Gaddafi's compounds in Tripoli. NATO said it was used to coordinate attacks on Libyan civilians. The government says three people died in the attack. Meanwhile, east of Tripoli, Gaddafi forces continued their two-month siege of rebel-held Misrata. Mandy Clark is in the rebel stronghold of Benghazi tonight. Mandy, does the Gaddafi compound bombing mean that NATO is stepping up the pressure on Gaddafi himself? Well, the alliance claimed they were targeting a command and control center. However, Libyan authorities say that it was an attempt to kill Gaddafi himself. NATO says it's maintaining high operational tempo, and it could be crucial for the alliance because Italy is the closest NATO country to Libya right across the Mediterranean Sea. Mandy, I know there's also been fierce fighting in the town of Misrata. How are the rebels there doing? Are they holding on? Well, it was another bloody weekend. Rebels are now taking back key areas of the city that were under government control. Some of those forces that didn't make it out of the city are now surrounded, and they're essentially behind enemy lines. The rebels are capturing prisoners, and they're discovering some of the fighters are as young as 16 years old, and others are mercenaries from neighboring African countries. Mandy Clark in Libya tonight. Mandy, thank you.